Hi, this is Paul Turley, and I'm going to show you the SolidQ Airline Performance Tracker. This is a Power BI solution that is based on data from the U.S. Department of Transportation Bureau of Transportation Statistics, and it includes uh, about two years' worth of uh, flight data, about 10 million flights altogether. Every flight uh, between major U.S. cities from commercial airlines. So let's say that I arrange transportation for a large company, and we want to minimize downtime, inconvenience for our people, and travel delays as much as possible. And so we want to know which airlines we can rely on between different airports and at different times of the year. And this tool will let us do that. So just at a glance on the dashboard, uh, you can see that I've, I've surfaced uh, average weather delays between different uh, airlines. I've uh, also uh, created some filtered reports between different destinations like Atlanta to Minneapolis during uh, uh, all of the months of the year. And here we can see a summary of, of uh, all of that data. Now from the dashboard, I can click on any of my visuals and drill through to the underlying reports. So here we can see my master report where we have some useful statistics. This is for everything unfiltered right now. You see all the flights. You see that for uh, just by the, the number of flights that are available, Southwest uh, uh, has the greatest number of flights uh, anywhere in the, in the country. And if we click on any one of these airlines, then that will slice this data. Then we can just see the number of flights uh, month to month for that airline. Uh, and then we can also look at specific uh, statistics between different cities. So let's say that I'm, we're planning a conference event and it's going to be in Charlotte. And we've got people flying from Atlanta and Chicago and Denver and Los Angeles. So from those four cities to Charlotte, here we can see the on-time performance between all of these different airlines. So uh, on average, the average departure delay for all of the airlines is about six minutes. The taxi out delay is about 20 minutes and the weather delay uh, for uh, all of the months of the year is about three minutes there. But here you can see SkyWest uh, had a particularly poor performance uh, for a short period of time. Otherwise, there was pretty good performance here, but you can compare the departure delay times uh, by minute for all of the airlines month to month and actually day to day. So here again, you can see that ExpressJet uh, had, had average delays of 146 minutes for uh, August 17th of 2015. So this is by geography using a three-dimensional globe. And I'm also going to add a few more airlines. So we'll add Alaska Airlines and and uh, Frontier Airlines. And here you can see that our greatest delays were concentrated in these areas, mainly in the New York and uh, New Jersey area. They're in Denver, they are pretty high delays. And in Los Angeles, there were uh, delays getting out. And uh, we need to click on February again, just to take a look at it uh, by month where there were fewer delays. But then you can see that uh, surprisingly, the greatest delay uh, was out of Tampa. And then on the topic of weather delays, here we can see the weather delays by location. So I can zoom in the uh, map of the country and then use this slicer again. We'll just take a look at February and we can see where the greatest weather delays are. And then the color represents the airline. I've already pre-selected some of my airlines there, but you can see that uh, Delta Airlines had pretty high delays out of Roanoke, Virginia. And uh, if we look at Los Angeles, you can see that once again, Delta had pretty high delays, but then other airlines have higher delays in different cities. On the delay analysis by airline, this is one of my favorite visuals. This is a sand key visual that shows us that uh, in uh, flights from Atlanta to Las Vegas, that there are four airlines that service that trip. And the width of these bars represents the average delay again. So it looks like uh, Delta is clearly the winner with an average of, of six minutes of delay. And then Spirit Airlines uh, didn't do so well with an average of 41 minutes. And then here you see those um, statistics rolled up uh, in, these, uh, in these bullet charts.